water, water everywhere. Not a single drop to eat, to drink. This is the famous quote from Samuel Coleridge. Water is the basic necessity to survive. It adds years to our life. Wisdom is the next necessity of our life because it adds life to your ears. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, dignitaries. Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon to all of you. Good afternoon. Today I am going to share you how to acquire wisdom from our daily activities, from the elements that is around us. We are learning wisdom from different different corners in our life, surrounded, surrounded by us. But don't you even think that the non-living thing which are around us, they can be also teaching us wisdom. Non-living things can be our even mentors. You can find them they, that, that is common day to day we are getting around us. One such lesson I learned from LCD project. I can remember in my university life, I struggled three weeks to give a presentation of obviously it's computer presentation. I didn't find a single projector to present my project. Though this is my speech project eight, from that learning, I decided not to show any PowerPoint presentation. Rather, I am, I started with my props. Let's get started. What is this, Mr. Master? It's 100 real currency in Saudi Arabia. If I am going to give one of you, will you take this? Yes, why not? I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to give you again. Will you take this? Yeah? Still? Yes. I'm going to make a roll. Will you take this again? Yes. Yes. Still, the answer is positive. I'm going to scramble it and put it into the lab. Will you take this again? Yes. yes. Still, the answer is positive. Exactly like this. Sometimes in our life, more often, we are ill treated, we are crumbled. And we are insulted, even despite all of this, still our values are safe. Another teaching from non living things. Therefore, my suggestion to all of you whenever you will get some this type of insult, this type of ill treated, don't lose yourself, don't give up, hold your esteem, self esteem and always just keep yourself hung. Hold, holding this self esteem, we can teach, we can learn from any other element. What will be the best object? It is none other than a pencil humble pencil. You can write so many interesting stories with this. You can draw a very beautiful picture. You can write letters to your beloved one. But can you write, uh, can this pencil write along, uh, only with the pencil? No. It needs hand to write this. Therefore in our life also, you are doing so many good deeds, but you need someone. Someone is there 
behind you. Who is that? It's our Almighty, God. Are those who do not believe God, they are self-consciousness. They are guiding them. Those pastors, moving on, another object from which we can learn wisdom. What is this? Banana. Rotten banana. Yeah, banana also can teach us so many things like wisdom. Rotten banana, it's finished. It is like your past, our past. We cannot do anything. It's over. My dear, what is this? Yeah, raw banana. It's your future. You can plan yourself what will you do with your life because we know if you hold your patience, the result, fruit of patience becomes sweeter. So you know, we need to plan ourselves how to plan for our future. Like this. Fellow Toastmasters, this is the ripe banana. So this is your present. Make the best use of it. Like your life, your present life should be used. How how did to how to double it? How to make best use of your life present? This is the learning from this one. Hello, Toastmasters. The materials, non-living things, taught us so many things. If you are opening yourself to receive it, to receive this, to receive this learning, one of my friend penned down course for me. Wisdom, wisdom everywhere in under the sun. Wisdom, wisdom everywhere. You need to learn. You need to seek and learn. Over to Mr. Kosmas.